Hi, so here's a guide on teaching you how to remove team space. So I saw a lot of posts on Reddit where they struggle with trying to remove team spaces in their Notion. And then once you add a new members, you get charges. So here are the two things that I found uh, main people that are struggling with. So for here, we have something uh, of team space here called my personal page. So this is just the one I created. And then here, when I want to try to delete it, so I just click the three dot. And then there's only options for team space settings and members. And then what's the most important one is archive team space. So you actually can't remove it. So let's just, for example, we click team space setting. So you can see here, there are a few tabs here, general members security. So for now we are in members. So you can see like there's team space owners, team space members here. So we want to try to change something here, like doesn't really make too much sense here. And then the bottom here, there's a, this is actually my current uh, account here, Notion. And then this is the guest account that invited to the team space. So what you actually need to do is you have to click this. Oh, but you can't really change it as well. So you can just change it between an owner and a member. So we can't actually just remove it. So it's very confusing. So what you actually need to do is, so it's not here. So you need to go to settings and members. And then at this members here, so you can actually select this is the guest. So just click on the workspace owner and then remove them from workspace. So what will happen is that once you remove them from workspace, And then you can actually see they are not in any workspace anymore. You can actually start archiving the team space. So it's actually working now. So if I just archive it, just to show you my personal page, and then they'll ask you like whether you want to move the pages. So just say proceed without moving, just delete everything. And then voila, that's, that's the, how you delete the team space. So what is actually happening here? So just to give you a little bit of background, because I'm still speculating some parts of it, because it is kind of complicated as well. So first of all, let's just create a team space again. So my team space. And then once we create it, let's not try to invite anyone for now. Let's just skip it. Okay. So now that we have the team space, at the beginning, you can see you can actually archive a team space because you do not have any members inside. If we go click inside team space settings, you can see there's nobody inside here. If I try to add a member, so let me try to add a member here. So I can invite, so this is the, the guest that I invited earlier. So once I invite a guest, you see I will not be able to uh, create a, delete the, archive the team space again. So I want to just to, before we go into that, let me just show you another example. So what's the difference between a team space and a page, right? So let's say I create another one. This is not a team space. And then you can actually invite your friends as well. So in this case, we invite our guests again. So let me go back to the guest email address. Okay. Uh, okay, so Thomas Yang, I'll just invite him. So you have so for now you can see Notion is actually asking you, add to workspace. Do you want to add this person to the workspace in addition to the page? This is a billable event. So this is where Notion is asking you, do you want to invite them to workspace? So we'll say skip for now. Because by clicking add to workspace is that they will be added to the team space as well in this case. So skip for now. So you can see that your uh, your guest here, your friends here, is actually being added here into the page itself. So not the workspace. So we can see, we can go back to our team space, you can see the archive. But then they're actually being invited to the page itself. So that's the difference between page and the workspace, or team space in this case. So it's a bit confusing, but Generally, just a rule of thumb for why people actually need team space compared to uh, pages, right? Since you can actually do this exactly the same thing. But just from my understanding and how I actually usually work with my client is that if you don't have a lot of employees, let's say you only have like five to 10 team members, like pages is just the way to go. Like you can just invite people as guests to your pages and then you can just easily like one by one just provide access. For team space, is when you have a larger team, let's say you have both like 15, 20, or even more, and then you want to create individual uh, spaces. So they only provide like people with specific access. So for example, maybe Thomas, you're like from HR. So you just assign them to HR. So once you assign it, it means that they can access to any pages that's part of the HR team. 
So this kind of how team space kind of work, but normally it's not so much for an individual, which is kind of why it's a bit confusing for like normal users that just normally you just use it with your friends or two or three friends. So let me just show you another things uh, just to make it more clear. So when we go back to settings and members, you can see there's a members, groups, and then guests. So we're actually in the members uh, tab here. So at the bottom here, you can actually see there's nobody here. So we, the, we don't have anyone in the workspace, right? And then groups is empty as well. And then guests. So this is where we have the guests. So this is where the difference comes in. So this time we're inviting the person as a guest, not as a members of the workspace. So which is why you're able to delete the or archive the workspace, the team spaces. So in this case, you can actually even come to here, convert to admin. So in this case, once we convert them to admin, right? So let me just do it now. You can see it's actually back to the same scenario. So they are under the uh, workspace here. So you can see Thomas Young. And then same thing. So we go back to our team space. You cannot archive again. So yeah, this probably was uh, the issue they are facing now. So just remember, go to setting and members. And then go to members. And then make sure you're on the members tab. And then just remove the owner and then just archive it so archive team space and just type in my team space and that's it so yeah so by default you can actually just use team space to be honest if you're not if you're not uh, planning to invite anyone to team space it wouldn't cost you anything but just be mindful that when you try to invite someone right you start to charge you so that's it so thanks for watching i hope this video is helpful for you